Hi everyone, Father James Mallon here coming to you from my new parish from the central location, St. Peter's Church. And my parish is named Our Lady of Guadalupe. I think you can see her behind me. And it's great to be with you today. And I'm very pleased to introduce this, this, this first talk. We, you've heard us talk about the three keys and you see that in our logo, the, the key ring with the three keys. The key ring represents the Eucharist prayer. But the three keys, the things that really make the difference in moving a parish from maintenance to mission. And remember, it's not that maintenance is bad and mission is good. Maintenance is good too, because <laughs> we're talking about maintaining the flock. It's divinely mandated to maintain the flock. But if all we do is maintain the flock, every year the flock gets older and, and smaller. And so we need to be on mission and we need to give our, our primary purpose, sense of purpose needs to be mission. That's the only way we're going to do it because if, if our primary sense of purpose is to maintain the flock, we're never going to have time and energy to, to, to put towards mission. And so, so it's both. And what is it that helps make this difference? What we've discovered in looking back and reflecting on our own experience working with other churches are these three main keys. Those are the keys that unlock the door. The keys are not necessarily the essentials because there are other things that are essential, such as the Eucharist. Uh, there's not a key. Uh, it doesn't, the Eucharist itself does not, is not going to move a parish from maintenance to mission because if that was true, every Catholic parish in the world would be missionary. Uh, but sadly, it's not. So what are the three keys? The power of the Holy Spirit, the primacy of evangelization, and the best of leadership. And you're going to hear in the rest of the, this, this time together about the primacy of evangelization, uh, because that's about hearts being changed and our call to reach people in the pews, obviously, but primarily to reach out to those on the outside, to bring them into a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. The primacy of evangelization puts the emphasis on the importance of introducing people to Jesus, the people who are already in the pews and the people that you hope to invite to your pews in the future. The church and your parish exist to evangelize. But you don't have to take my word for it. Jesus himself tells us in his great commission, in Matthew 28 we read, Jesus telling us to go therefore and make disciples, baptizing them and then teaching them. You know, it's funny, when you think of parishes all over the world, often, often we get the order of this wrong. We often think that our, our role is to, to, to baptize and to teach but we never actually get around to evangelizing. This is why the primacy of evangelization is so important inside of a parish. We confuse catechesis with evangelization. And not only that, if we invest our time into catechesis, we never get around to evangelization. And there's something profoundly different in these two things. See, evangelization is, is us introducing people, introducing people to Jesus. Often, for the very first time. After you've recognized the priority of evangelization in your parish, you must begin to create a culture of invitation. One of the ways we've seen this work really well in parishes is by using a tool like Alpha, something that is, is easy to invite people to. It lowers the barrier for your parishioners to be able to invite friends, family, people they meet. And it creates an environment where people are, aren't intimidated because in the gesture of welcoming them, you're communicating to your parishioners that we expect new people. We expect new people are going to find our community, join our community, and most importantly, encounter Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.